crap goth my name is pixie and welcome to my channel of randomness where you never know what you're gonna get today is an unboxing video but it is only a little mini one there are three items two are from someone called carrie ann who is a regular gifter and also has become a close friend she's amazing and another one i think not sure it could be from somebody called amy which it's something in a plushy dreadful box but uh we'll have to wait and see please do stick around to find out hey so first of all yes i'm in my pajamas not because i'm being a lazy cow which is pretty much the usual reason i'm in my pajamas but it to be fair it is quarter to midnight it is the 31st of August 2024. I cannot believe it's September tomorrow. Like, how fast has this year gone? So, officially, tomorrow is obviously, like I said, it well, in 15 minutes' time, it's going to be September the 1st, which basically is Hallow's Eve. It's Halloween Eve, isn't it? The month before is like the run up to Halloween. So, yeah, we're going to be start getting things ready um, for my little boy's resting place. Going to make it all Halloween y for him. And um, we don't celebrate Halloween big like some of the Americans and that do. Um, we do big for Christmas. We go really big for Christmas. Things were a little bit different since losing my son because obviously this is him here. If you're new to the channel, this is my beautiful boy, Corey, who we lost last year. Um, Halloween, he loved it. Absolutely loved it. <coughs> but anyway, I am losing my voice. I've not been very well for a while. So bear with me. But I really wanted to do a little mini unboxing today. So. I don't think I can show you, hang on, let me just check. Ah, there's lots of things on the floor because I've been doing lots of sorting out. So the first one is a box here. Now it's in an Amazon box, but it has come from abroad. So this said it is from Carrie Ann Ganley. So hello, Carrie Ann, you are a really big gift, you honestly, thank you so, so much. Um, so yes, this has come from abroad in America, which is, let me just check on that, make sure she's not Canadian, she's going to come over and kick my arse, I'm sure she's from America. It sounds so, so stupid, but I like, I just forget, yeah, she's from New Jersey, <laughs> just checking, sorry, I've said to people before, oh, they're from America, turns out they're Canadian, and they got really offended, I was like, oh, I'm shit at geography, I am so sorry. Right, okay, so this first box, I have pre-opened it with scissors, but I haven't looked what's inside. I literally can't show you anything else because there are like priority mail stickers, air mail stickers, address stickers everywhere else. So like I said, there's just the front of it here that I can show you without revealing where both of us live. Um, so this is from Carrie Ann. It has been sat here for a while, so I've been really poorly. I've been in, in and out of hospital. My voice is not fantastic, so I'm going to try and keep this short. Okay, so, oh okay i can show you the inside though that's cool that's pretty christmas colors isn't it hang on a second okay so the first i i might leave this one to last because look how nice that's wrapped up that's really funky i wonder what kind of bag that is looks a bit like a tar tar I was like, look, it looks like a target is this a target bag because i that's american shop isn't it i'm gonna put this to one side because there is actually something else in here so there's a bit of wrap in there and there is oh wow there's quite a few items actually hang on so that is the yeah yeah that's the box empty now i'm gonna put that to one side and we have some things here okay so first of all we have got something that said pixie which is cool and in here is oh my god carry on i've got to say i am completely freaked out by this oh my god <laughs> Honestly, I <laughs> this is the point where I feel really guilty now, but I, I this this literally this is one of my worst nightmares ever. <sighs> right, rubbing that, I'll come back when it decides to. So, first of all, I am literally appreciative of anything which is sent through. Like honestly, it is incredible. Nobody has to send anything. When parcels come through, letters, postcards, I get like really emotional about it and like, oh my god, thank you so much. Things come through for all members of my family. So we do have an Amazon wish list and a PO box. Um, people write letters to me all the time, which I absolutely love. We get postcards sent from all over the world, some of which are addressed to my little boy, Captain Corey, and they go into his travel book. Um, and then other things we do for charity as well. So if you go on the Amazon wish list, which is linked up to every one of my videos and every one of Captain Corey's videos from Crack in the Box, 
which I will link up that YouTube channel onto the description of this one because I run that one as well. Um, we have something now called Crewmates for Christmas because we're on the run up to Christmas and that is all things which we're going to take to Newcastle Freeman Hospital um, and it's Ward 23 which is where all the cardiac children stay. That's where my little boy had both of his heart trance and he went to stay on so it's very close to our hearts. Anyway, this one here, <laughs> this is a professional nail art tools. And I have to say this, because you're gonna see this is so silly. I have a phobia of, I don't even like the word nails. I, I, I just don't like, I'm glad I've got them. <laughs> I don't like nails. Like, I mean, I'll paint mine black sometimes. They are short, I, 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 I trim them with clippers. I don't bite them or anything. Oh. But you know, one of my biggest phobias, and it's just, it's so stupid, apart from kites and hot air balloons and stuff like that. It's people with false nails. I fucking hate it. Like it literally freaks me out. You know when people sit there clicking the claws, I call them claws, not nails. When people sit there clicking the claws together or they're so like, you see the videos, I watch YouTubers and if they've got nail extensions on, I, I have to turn it over. Like I literally, it makes me feel sick. I'm so sorry to anybody out there who has beautifully manicured long extension claws on. Even Ebony gets hers done and they're so pretty, but I'm like, don't you touch me with them. Don't you touch me. Um, in here, bless you, honestly, I might, I'm going to contact you first to make sure this is okay, but I might actually give this to, us, to, to Ebony if it's okay. Because in here, I, I can't even get them out. I, I can't. I am so, so sorry. There is nail files and everything. And I just, I just can't. I just can't. I have this big huge thing I was offered a manicure and pedicure and this is very drastic but I said like I'd rather cut my fingers and toes off <laughs> than go to have them filed and I just can't I just can't <laughs> and I feel so guilty because I could sit here and pretend that it's great and then like if other people give me nail stuff I'd be like <laughs> it's just I, you are amazing. You're amazing for thinking of me. This is really cool, but there, I just, I just can't. I am so sorry. I have such a fear of nails and anything done to them. And there's no filing going on here. There's no, no, I just can't. I'm going to message you to explain first because I feel like a bitch. I'm going to put these to one side and I'm going to message you, carry on, and hopefully you'll find it funny. And um, I'm so sorry. I just, I just can't even get them out the bag. <laughs> and I've just noticed the second one, the second parcel says Ebony, and this is also a professional. This is a professional nail art tools as well. Are they the same? They actually look. I think they're the same, same stuff, but just different coloured claw brushes. Um. Ebony will actually really like that because she loves her claws to be done really nice and she apart from last time she came over because like, they needed to repair a bit she has them all done and she has them all manicured and all that kind of stuff I just I just can't I just can't I'm so sorry I can't so like I said carry on carry on knows me well enough that she's not going to be watching this going you ungrateful bitch she will understand. I will voice message you, carry on, so you know. Okay, I'm so sorry. Is it okay if I give these to, to Ebony? Because I just, I just can't. I'm so sorry. I feel so guilty. I'm so guilty. I'm so sorry. But, oh my God, this is like the point where I just feel like a horrible person. Um, I just have this thing about, I'm so sorry. Okay, but there is this, which is cool, honestly. I am so sorry. I promise you I am not being ungrateful. It's just one of my things. I just I just can't. It's pathetic, isn't it? It's absolutely pathetic. It's awful. I love my black claw polish, but like I bollock spanky because he bites and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> Tell him off. Right, I'm gonna open this anyway. Oh my gosh, before I just dig a deeper hole for myself and just make me sound like a right ungrateful cow. I am so sorry. Hopefully you're sat at the screen laughing. You find it funny. And nobody's being judgy and anything like that. And um, yeah, I just have this fear. Um, one of Someone I know, um, she does all manicures and pedicures. And she's like, oh, would you like to come? I'm like, no! I know I don't. Thank you. But no. I said it nicely. Not like that, obviously, because that would have been bad. Okay, so in this, this bag, which is a really fucking cool bag. Look at that. That's well trippy. 
Do you think it is Target? Because that looks like a Target, doesn't it? Don't know, but anyway. <gasps> oh, we've got some books. Now, books I do like. I absolutely love books. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. So there is a little pile of stuff here. Okay, so this says, Pixie, for your collection, it glows in the dark. Chain is metal, not sterling. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. So see if you can read that there, look. Glows in the dark. Now for my collection, so I collect ghosts. Why well, I put these on the side here? I collect ghosts, I collect dolls, I collect Harry Potter miniatures. So I'm not quite sure what would this would be. I like the fact she's put the fact it's not sterling. I am allergic to metal. <laughs> so I can wear stainless steel, which I've got in all my piercings. Even my wedding ring is stainless steel. I can't wear gold, I can't wear silver. My ring light doesn't want to work. There we go. So yeah, thank you for the heads up on that. I really do appreciate it. Oh my God, it is a ghost. No shit, this is amazing. I had to look twice then because I thought, is that a penis? <laughs> It's a little ghost. I'm gonna to have to come close to the camera so you can see. It's a little teeny tiny ghost, look, in a little jar. Oh my gosh. Now, I won't actually wear this purely because it's glass and I don't want to break it. But in my hallway, I have a ghost display. Ghost display. <laughs> that didn't work very well. So I collect something called York Ghost Merchants Ghosts. I also have some Black Star Ceramic Ghosts. And what are the other ones I've got? I've got a couple of other ones. Um can't remember offhand what they're called they've got like little horns on them and stuff um but anyway yes so i will hang this from my ghost house in fact i'll try and take a picture of it and attach it to the end of this video so you guys can see what it looks like but this is really cool i thought it was a willy at first that is really cool but then i realized i don't collect penises <laughs> so there we go that is a really cute little ghost oh my gosh it's just like it's like it's made of glass but i think it's acrylic that is so cute. Thank you so much. Like I said, I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to hang it up probably on one of the chimneys of my ghost house. That is really, really cute. So I'll hang it up and then I'll take a picture so you guys can see what it looks like. Thank you. Because I do collect ghosts. I love ghost teddies, ghost art, ghost little ornaments, ghost dolls, anything. Even real ghosts are absolutely fine. They're fine. Okay, so the next thing is, it's for Spanky. So Spanky's my Star Wars obsessed husband. I'm all Harry Potter, he's all Star Wars. We have a bit of conflict going on. We take the piss out of each other because he's like, oh, Star Wars is dead good. And then he says that Harry Potter is just basically a guy who's hit his head and he's like basically got concussion and dreams up all this magic school. And I just like Star Wars is just a bunch of blokes running around with all pointy light sticks. So we kind of like diss each other, but that's really cool. So this is a 3D wood model and book of the Millennium Falcon. Now, this absolutely amazing, amazing lady who she did want to stay anonymous, bought Spanky the Millennium Falcon Lego kit, like the full kit. And he cried, like it is amazing. He can't actually build it yet until he's got his workshop up and running, which won't be until next year because he needs the space to be able to build it. But things like this, he does models on his channel. So Spanky has also become a YouTuber. Um, he does it in between working as well. And that's called The Reluctant Ape. All one word, The Reluctant Ape. I will link it into the description of this video. He tends to do a lot of builds that are like sped up with heavy metal music and stuff like that. He paints Warhammer. He builds wooden stuff. He builds stuff that I give him that I'm shit at building. <laughs> and he does that for me. So this will end up on his YouTube channel. This is cool. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Look at that. That is well cool. Thank you ever such a lot. I'm going to go and give him this in a minute. Thanks. Okay, so another thing is it has literally just been my little boy's birthday on the 24th of August. So literally days ago. Um, and obviously I've had some parcels here, I've said for quite a while. I've not been very well. But there is a birthday card for Corey, um, which is amazing. So I am going to read this now. Um, oh my gosh, it said Santoro London. It's a little cute little sticker on it, look. And this says, Corey on your birthday. So I am a few days late actually reading this out, um, but it still doesn't matter, it's still nice, and we always keep everything as well. So I will put this one up. Oh, it's a 3D card. This one's gonna be like a pop-up card. Now I'm just gonna get this right. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, okay. <gasps> How cool is, oh my God. So, so look, underneath, look, you have to just fan it all out. Oh my goodness, it's a 3D. No way, the doors even open and close. It's a greenhouse with all the little plants 
how cool is that look even the base has got plants on it look oh my gosh the windows are a bit like whip the abbey which is lovely it's ivy and plants and everything so oh my gosh it's very very delicate but yeah look the greenhouse door opens and closes how beautiful is that look inside look so we are doing a garden for Corey at the moment we're doing a memorial garden for Corey. um the weather is kind of like on and off we're waiting for a patio at the moment so everything's kind of ground to a halt um but Corey absolutely loved nature i hate using past tense but he loved nature he was and he's got his own greenhouse too this is beautiful so i will actually fold this flat and keep this in it's really really safe in his bedroom but it's absolutely stunning thank you so much for that that is beautiful honestly it's so intricate aren't people clever how they make this kind of stuff that is beautiful thank you so much i'll go and put that in corey's bedroom after i finish filming so thank you okay now we've got another book here that says ostara and mummy to color and draw together Aww. and this is a book that says draw with mom oh my gosh now again really quickly corey and i did a book together it's called mummy and me um and that was a book and um, it's available on, on, on amazon um and that was where it had two identical pages every single time you turn a page it's two identical pages and it will say something like draw a picture of me draw a picture of mummy um my favorite things mummy's favorite things and you can either fill it in about yourself or fill it in about the other person and Corey and i were working on this book so everything in there is so precious to me it's absolutely beautiful and while i'm on the subject of books as well really quickly sorry carry on I have a book out. Um, I wrote a children's book with an amazing American illustrator called Miranda and it is for sale on Amazon right now. It is called Captain Corey and the Heart Full of Courage. Please go and buy it. Every single sale, every sale of the book goes to help children in hospital in Newcastle who are having heart transplants, had heart transplants or anything like that. So it's a really, really, really good cause book as well. And it's really cute and it's about Corey and my family and I'm in it as well <laughs> so yeah go and have a check that out anyway this is a draw with mom book which is brilliant so this is the two person doodle book by me and mom I love that it says mom because that's very American isn't it we say mom or mummy so for example here look there's two blank pages this says child draw a chicken trying to cross the road mom draw all the cars in the road did the chickens make it <laughs> phew there's another one here. Child, draw a giant television set that fills up both pages. Mom, what show are you watching together? Draw it. And this is like really lovely. So this will be a really, really special thing to do with Ostara. So thank you so much. It's so important to make memories with your kids. Photos are great. Videos are great. But you know, actual crafts that you've made together, make sure you date them as well because it's so easy to kind of forget when you've done stuff. Things like this are amazing. Thank you okay and there is one last book here as well oh my gosh <laughs> so i don't know if it's carrie Ann i was talking to about this i used to collect when i was a kid um i apart from somebody in my family i don't get on with her anymore so i'm not even going to mention her but she had barbies i had hornby flower fairies and i have a couple of original Horn hornby flower fairies and my ex-father-in-law who is amazing his name is pete he's lovely he actually bought me the boy version, uh, it's like an elf, I can't think what it's called, and he, he was basically a, a boy pixie, and he had like an orange hat on and a brown suit on, and I still have some of my original Hornby Flower Bear fairies. These are what they look like. Now this book says it's for Ostara and Pixie, and this is pretty much what the flower fairies look like. They were lovely. I had the flower fairy garden, which I wish I still had, this big green garden that had a kind of net over it, it was gorgeous. So this is a sticker storybook. So look, these beautiful, beautiful stickers, which are gorgeous. And then we get to have a story as well. Look, for example, add lavender and ha add lavender and harebell, then stick in some branches, leaves and flowers to soften young fairies' landings. These are just like the fairies I had. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful book. Thank you so, so much for this. Oh, I really enjoy it. So I've only got a few days left of the six week holidays with her. She goes back to school the end of next week. She would already be back at school by the time this video goes out. So this is something lovely to do with her. So thank you so, so much. But that is not it, carry on, because I have another parcel from you. That's like this frigging big. I'm gonna see if I can hold it up to the camera and go and have a look in there. 
thank you so much okay super quick this is how big this parcel is and obviously i'm gonna have to pause it now just to put it down and open it because it's covered in brown paper um but the, on the outside of the brown paper are lots of airmail stickers and addresses and things like that so yeah this has come from um new jersey again yeah so i was right nj is new jersey isn't it comments down below because i'm a bit thick anyway so i'm going to get this opened up and i'll be right back okay i am in the box <laughs> and it's got a doritos thing but it says something on it it says it, um it wouldn't close so i'm reinforced with a nacho cheese recycling day no boxes left to swap <laughs> that's really cool we do that as well so I, I sell some things on Vinted, which is like a second-hand site. Not a lot of stuff if the government are watching and want to take the money off me, which they do quite a lot, apparently, you know. Um, but yeah, um, Spanky, he reuses stuff. So quite a lot of the time, if you guys send us things, um, we save the small boxes, the bubble wrap, the tissue paper, all that kind of stuff. And we reuse it for wrapping again for the smaller parcels, because we're into recycling as well. It's really, really, really important. So I'm just going to get this off. Try not to wake up Ostara. And as you can see, there's the box. I'm just, um, I like the fact she's reused the boxes as well, like I said, because we do the same thing. It's so flipping handy and it saves a fortune, you know. Um, but I will just say that anybody who sends things from the US or Canada or anything to the UK, it's really flipping expensive. So honestly, we appreciate absolutely everything. But just so you guys know, so we don't have a lot of money. Like we are a very, very low income family. It might not seem like it, but we really are. Um, so if you guys, like, you don't have to at all, but if anybody's going to send anything to us from abroad, can you please, please, please make sure that um, on, like, on, like, the form, it says, uh, on the front of the parcel, it says gift in big freaking letters if you can do it, because otherwise we get stung for customs. And a couple of times I just haven't had the money to pay for customs bills. It's been, like, £50. And that's, like, almost half a week's money so i just I can't afford it and it gets sent back to the sender and i don't ever want that to happen so if you guys put gift on on the label it means we don't get charged customs which is incredible so yeah i i feel so bad when things come through i cry because it's like i can't afford it what am i going to do so yeah this hasn't got customs which is great anyway i'm going to shut up now i just thought i'd let you know so oh my gosh and there's cool for packing peanuts in here as well look like rainbow ones we keep these you can actually put those down the sink so they do just dissolve in the water um, but we do actually save those for i can repack things with it so ta -da! there's a few things in this box by the looks of it so i'm going to pop this one down here i'm going to have a look okay so first of all there is a big heavy box so i'm going to save that one for last i'm going to put that down there and there is a card that says pixie which is cool now it doesn't say do not read on camera so i'll have a quick scan of it first just to make sure and um oh my gosh it's a beautiful card save that envelope as well i save everything and there's a little card look which is beautiful oh sorry about the shaking by the way if you know i've got the shakes because i've got anxiety okay this says let me just quickly scan through to make sure there's nothing bad in it hang on i'm gonna pause it Yep, we're lucky. There's nothing bad in there. It's all good. So this says, Pixie, in Corey's studio tour video, you said that you needed more keepsake boxes. I hope this helps. Look inside. The wand reminds me of Hermione's. Careful, the bottom sticks out a bit. With love, carry on. And then she's put, oops, then Hermione. <laughs> I know what she meant. Like, there we go. So yes, yeah, so if you haven't seen it, um, there is one on the crap goth a studio tour so i've got a youtube studio i know i am sat in my living room right now the reason being is the weather's been really muggy and really hot so i set up my ring light in here usually i have the door open and everything but as it is i need to go back into the studio give it a good hoover out and then i can start filming in there again so for now i'm on the sofa in my living room but i will be back in my studio like asap okay so on the studio tours um i did say about storage boxes and that is because i've actually got one down here actually to show you so this is something that was sent to Corey for his birthday um and this is a little pirate chest now we've got really big ones of these we've got medium-sized ones we've got square ones this is one that Corey got for his birthday 
and basically every single parcel that comes in if it's got a gift tag with it a label with it a shipping label anything at all like like this letter and card will go in here as well i keep everything oh be careful because my, my address is in there actually i keep everything in here so like for this one here look basically we've got a message from jennifer tapman that was one of the gifts and um, even even things like curry's curry's banner which went up on his resting places in here and um, these is where this is where i keep everything i have boxes and boxes of everything because i am so sentimental and i want to keep everything that you guys send no matter how small i love it postcards letters gift tags anything i love it so that's amazing so she mentioned a wand and i think this is the one so i'm actually going to save the wand till last and there was a whole bunch of packing peanuts yay which i'm going to save obviously and i'm going to reuse them but i'm going to have a look in this because i think this is what she's on about about chests or some kind of storage box which is absolutely brilliant so i'm going to get this open and be right back right okay got it open now so i've done this and oh my gosh straight away i can see the proper clasp on it this is amazing oh my gosh it is a pirate chest oh thank you so much seriously we fill these so quickly and they look amazing so i keep some of them in corey's bedroom and some of them go into the youtube studio which corey and i share so it's a big room and he has one half and I have the other. Like he will always have, that's where his silver play button is. That's where his wooden and, and leather play buttons are. And his artwork that's been done for him. But oh my gosh, it's amazing. And this is where they go. And look at this, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So this is a different color to that one and a different shape. So these are brilliant. It makes you look so piratey, which is incredible. Oh my gosh, just look at that. That is a big chest. That's going to hold so many. So if any Christmas cards come in, birthday cards and things, they all go into these chests. We save literally everything, honestly. But she did say to look inside. So that's what I'm going to do. So there are press studs here on the bottom. And then there's these, love, I love these clasps, these little clasps here. And inside, oh my gosh. So inside there is what looks like postcards. Oh, it smells dead nice. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It smells like, like like proper wooden furniture and varnish. That is lovely. Okay, so I'm pop this down there because that's actually a really big box and it's got a handle on the top, which is great for moving it. So we have some postcards, which is amazing. So this one is to Corey and it is New Jersey, which is so cool. I'd love to come and visit these places someday. This says, Dearest Corey, Mummy said that you love getting postcards from around the world, sending you love from New Jersey, carry on. So basically what that is, um, whilst Corey was still with us, um, he had gifted um, a travel book, which is basically a really big scrapbook. And the idea was that we tried to go, and this was before he got really, really sick. We were going to try and go to as many places as possible and buy a postcard from every place we went to or stamps or something and put them in his little travel book. Now, unfortunately, Corey became very, very poorly, very, very quickly, and he passed away in my arms in July last year. So I'm going to try not to cry. So people have been sending postcards from where they live or places they go from around the world, or even in the UK. Ebony, my daughter, my eldest daughter, she went off to York not long ago with her friend and brought a postcard back from York. So it can literally be anywhere. And people give me postcards for me to put into Corey's travel journal. So it's like he's, he's got the world coming to him which is beautiful and it's lovely because it's also got an octopus on it or a squid or a kraken even probably which is really cool so thank you so much that will go into Corey's travel book we have another one from New Jersey which is really cool as well and this says greetings from New Jersey love carry on and lots of pretty stickers on the back which is really really nice as well thank you so much another one from New Jersey which is cool and this says, hello from the garden state. I didn't know it's called that. And um, we have lots of fruits and vegetables. Yes, we have more diners than any other state in the USA. I did not know that. That's a good reason to come and visit. And the big orange on it, which is cool. And another New Jersey one as well, which is cool. And this one says, oh my God, this is for Ostara. This says, Ostara, say hi to your uni unicorn Pegasus warrior friend. Love, Carrie Ann. And there's a little unicorn sticker 
Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. My little girl's only six and she is obsessed with unicorns. So that is lovely. Thank you so, so, so much. Honestly, thank you. Right, oh my gosh. So now there is this one, which you said is a wand, but to be careful because the bottom sticks out. My bottom sticks out as well, because I'm a badass. Okay, this says for a witch or a wizard. So let's have it. Oh my gosh, I collect ones because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are you ready? Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh wow, look at this. It comes in a gorgeous box. And just look, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Just look at that. That is all handmade and the details in it are stunning. Oh, I just thought, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I sometimes, I, I forget, I'm, I'm filming for my channel, so it's okay. I have rude wrist tattoos. <laughs> that one's rubbed off a little bit. The last two letters are rubbed off. But I thought, oh my God, because I forget I'm filming for Corey's channel sometimes, I expose them. But this is my channel, so it's okay. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't like it can, yeah. Anyway, so sorry, squirrel moment. But this is an absolutely gorgeous wand. It's, it's so beautiful. Just, I mean, just look at all the details in that. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm like, I'm wondering, like, is this made from a chopstick? Because look at like the, the I don't know how it's, I don't even know what it's made out of. I think it's got some kind of polymer clay on there. But oh my gosh, look at the details in it absolutely gorgeous they are so beautiful now ostara was actually gifted a wand i'm wondering if it was from you carry on as well who gifted us ones before because we've actually had some handmade ones before i can't remember who it was who gifted them now they're on a previous video but this is like to be displayed in a cabinet because it is so so stunning thank you so much it's absolutely so beautiful oh my gosh so i'm gonna put it for safekeeping back in the box now and I'm going to put it with my wand collection. Uh, one day I would like to have a wand display case. I have to see if somebody can 3D print on or something. That is absolutely stunning. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I'm going to open one more parcel. And this is, I don't know if this is actually what's inside, but this is, I've got to hide the address. This is in a plushy dreadful bag. Now, if you don't know what a plushy dreadful is, go and have a look on their websites. They are really cool rabbits that cover all kinds of things like mental illness and physical illness. And I've just been gifted an anxiety bunny, which was from a lovely lady called Amy who messaged me because at the time I didn't know who it was from. This may not even be a plushy dreadful. It might have been recycled packaging. Let's check it out. OK, so I'm just opening it off camera because there's quite a lot of addresses on it. Um, but... I think it is a plushy dreadful because I can see the bag inside. Oh my gosh. So this, I can show you. Oh my God. If you haven't got a plushy dreadful, um, I will literally link up the website to them in the description of this video. So please do go all the way down the description and have a look past because I, I do the Amazon wishlist, the PO box, um, people to subscribe to like Spanky, which is my husband, Corey, obviously, American Nana Ma and uh, Miranda and all that kind of stuff. And then underneath I put all the shop links. So I will link these up. Now this is a plushy dreadful bag, but I it doesn't look like it's a, a, like a soft toy bag. So it has a picture of a bear on the front. Now the last one I got was, like I said, from a lady called Amy. So that was a lovely surprise because she wasn't able to send a note. And it was the new anxiety rabbit which came with like mini bunnies in its back and they come out and it's like they're so cool honestly so let's see what this one is because oh my gosh it might be you know because it might so it oh my gosh this might be a teddy so all the toys come in their own bags which will literally represent the toy that's inside now the thing with this is that if this is a teddy bear i don't know which one this is i don't know what it's called so what I'll do is, if I find out, I'll put it on the screen above now. Because I actually don't know what this one is. So, oh my gosh, let's have a look. Oh my god, definitely don't have it, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, it's like two things in it. What? Oh my god, oh my god, this is so cute. So you've seen the bag. Look at the bear. How does this look? This looks like it's honey or something. Does it say what this is? So there we go. That's the plushy dreadful look. Like I said, I will link up this business into the description of the video. This says, thank you for adopting a plushy dreadful. All plushies are hand sewn and variations in design and construction are normal. 
questions or comments you can then it tells you what to do this is not a toy and not intended for use by children adult collectors only for these people please be aware of that now i actually don't know what these are called now he's only got one eye um it doesn't actually say what his name is like so like i said i will put it oh, i don't think so no it doesn't so i will put the name on the screen now just so you can see what it is and which one to look for but this looks like it's like b so has he been stung by bees i don't know but he's so cute he's so soft honestly i like this look at that look you can see how soft the fur is it's absolutely gorgeous some of them are rabbits i've never ever ever seen a teddy bear one so i am actually so excited because i don't have this oh my gosh look at his little tail and everything so i'm just checking because sometimes they have zips and things in them but this does so this to me looks like it's a beehive which is cool because i actually keep beehives so I'm gonna, this has a zip in it, so I'm going to undo that there. I literally don't know what's inside this. I've never seen it before. And oh my God, there are little bees inside of this. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my God. One, two. Oh my God, there's like five. Right, I'm going to get them all out, look, because there's two more in there as well. There are five little diddy bees in this. Just look at that. <gasps> How cute are they? Oh my God. So gorgeous! Look, little teeny tiny bees with the little stripes on, and they go inside the beehive, which is so lovely. I need to know what this what, what this is called. Now I'm using my phone at the moment to film on, so I don't know. So like I said, I'll put the name of the plushie on the screen so you can see what it's called. I have never seen this one before, and I'm wondering if this is from Amy as well. So um, if it is, thank you so so much. Um, unfortunately, you can't really send notes with them. But I've had a message from someone else to say that they've sent me a plushie dreadful as well. So I don't know who this one's from. So if you can let me know, in fact, what I'll do, Amy, is I'll message you with a picture to ask if it's from you. And if it is, I'll put a yes here now. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Thank you so much. I love them. And I love his little broken heart because my heart's broken too. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, and that is the end of this video. It was only going to be a short one because I'm not feeling fantastic. But, oh my gosh, thank you so, so much, both Carrie Ann and possibly Amy. Excuse me, if you are the one who have bought, who has bought this blushy dreadful. And just like, thank you to everybody for supporting this channel and for making videos like this possible because it just overwhelms me. It really, really does. I get absolutely so fucking excited when parcels turn up and letters turn up and it's got my name on or Corey's name on. It's like, it's so amazing. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, honestly, it's incredible. I am so sorry about the nail kit, by the way. I still feel so guilty about that. Like, no. Um, I don't think it was Jamie. I think Jamie once, because um, so I've got a friend called Jamie. And he lives in North Dakota and he's visited us twice now, which is incredible. We've had people from America come here and visit us. It's been incredible. So, so far it's been Jamie and it's been Shauna. I've met both of them twice, which is incredible. Um, and um, Jamie, <laughs> I am shit scared of crabs, crustaceans, you know, lobsters, crabs, shrimps, prawns, like, like, you know, with all the legs and stuff on, freaks me out completely, hate them. There's quite a lot I'm scared of, actually. I'm a right pussy when it comes to things. I'm really scared. But um, one of the things Jamie did was we went to Whitby with Jamie. <laughs> and um, in fact, I need to put the video up on that because it was a really cool day out. And we showed him all Corey's favourite places and stuff. And then he bought this present and sent it home with Spanky to give me once he'd gone. Because he's a fucking wimp and he knows how to kick his ass. And when I opened this bag, like he'd got something for Corey. And it was a freaking crab. Like it, it was an ornament. A crab like this. And it says said Whitby across it. And it's actually at Corey's resting place now. Because I was just like, you bastard. How did you send me a crab? Um, but yeah, it was just like, and I'm like that with nail stuff. It literally freaks me out completely so i'm so sorry but for everything else thank you so so much honestly it is amazing i can't wait to do the things with our star it's gonna be wonderful bonding time with her the the wand is just stunning absolutely gorgeous thank you so so much the chest and everything to put corey's notes into and everything it's just lovely thank you for the postcards for his obviously for his travel book and the one for our star too and my letter and Corey's pop-up card and everything else and oh my gosh yeah thank you so much for Corey, um for Spanky's Star Wars thing as well like you will see that being built on his channel 
and for the plushie dredge full oh my gosh this is like the cutest thing ever i love plushies thank you so so much so that is going to be it for me because it is now september the first that means it's almost halloween bitches yes that means it's ghosty time so please look out for upcoming ghost videos pendulum board stuff tarot readings all that kind of stuff we're going to try and get into a bit more of the dark stuff but absolutely categorically no ouija boards because i don't believe in it and i just not that i don't believe it's dangerous shit don't mess with it so there'll be no ouija boards on this channel but there hopefully will be some ghost hauntings keep your eyes peeled thank you so much for everything if you want to see more please do hit that subscribe button it really really helps me don't forget to tick that little bell icon as well just so you know did i say that right bell icon sound like bin bell icon just so you know every time a new video goes up which is roughly every three days or so and we talk about all sorts on this channel not just unboxing but soapbox stuff i have a rant i've got a podcast stuff which gets put on here all kinds of stuff lots of swearing because i'm a bit naughty but for everything here thank you so much it's been awesome i've really enjoyed myself you lot are fucking awesome and i'll see you all soon bye sorry for the swearing not oh, sorry bye don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Thank you. Hey, it's me again because I'm a complete frigging klutz. Um, I was just cleaning up and found another envelope that's a pixie on it, which I did not realise. I don't remember moving it or putting it down. Found it on the sofa, so I opened it and it's another card, which is really cool. And it's got lots of really beautiful stickers inside. I'm so sorry, I just didn't even see this. Loads of really, really, really beautiful stickers inside, which is so pretty like little donuts with unicorns, which I'm sure Astara's gonna want. And there's a little doggy one down here, which is really cool as well. And there's just lots of really beautiful flower ones that have got like kind of like transparent bits around them. They're so pretty. And there is a bit of a letter inside this card. So I'm gonna read this, I hope that's okay. I'm so sorry, carry on. Like I literally did not see this. So just adding on to the bit at the end of the video. So this says, Pixie. This parcel started with a little ghost, which is so adorable. Thank you so much. Oh shit, I didn't take a picture of my ghost. Good job. Honestly, I swear to God, like I am the shittest YouTuber on the planet. I'll go and take a picture of my ghost in a minute and add it onto the end of this video. I'll worry about myself sometimes. Okay, Pixie, this parcel started with a little ghost. He looks familiar. The chain is metal, sorry. No, it's fine because I'm gonna hang him on the chimney. It's not a problem. I hope the 3D wood model with the book will be a bit of practice for Spanky before his Lego adventure. Absolutely, I've just given it to him and he was like, wow, this is going to be in this week's video. So I think he's going to build it this week, which is really cool. Thank you. The, the manicure sets are for you and Ebony. You've mentioned that you prefer to do your own nails and you like to do them together. Girl time. Painting them? <laughs> no cutting. No filing. No, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> Oh my God, like I said, carry on. You would have already been messaged and hopefully you do not take offence at this. I mean, you know me by now. I'll be dead honest with you. Like, I just can't. Ebby will be like, well, happy. But I, yeah, girl time doing the claws is literally just painting. I draw the line at anything else. But thank you for the thought. You are adorable. Okay, sorry. I'm going to shut up now and read this. The flower fairies are for Star or for Stara and you. When you mentioned that Astara liked to colour, um and share the pages with you i thought you'd both like to draw with mom that book is beautiful thank you i've enclosed a card for corey's birthday i feel blessed to share a birthday with him and i will always celebrate him love carry on birthday twins which is beautiful so i'm actually really glad i didn't see this card first otherwise it would have showed me everything that was inside the parcels and then it's not like a surprise so it obviously worked out this way it was meant to be but thank you so much for absolutely everything. I am really sorry about the whole nail thing. I just, I just, no, <laughs> I just can't, ah, just can't do it. But I will go and take a picture of the ghosts now, which are really, really pretty. So the actual stand, I'll say it really quickly now. Sorry, my dog's just started eating his dinner very, like, very, very loud. The um, the ghost house, basically, that all my ghosts are in at the moment, I bought that from the charity shop. Like, how mad is that? It was £30. It's extremely heavy. It looks as though it's handmade and maybe one of a kind. It's huge. It's absolutely brilliant. And that's where all my ghosts go at the moment. They are amazing. So that's going to go and live on the chimney stack. I'll dangle it from the chimney stack. So I'll take a picture and you'll see it at the end of this video. So thank you so much for everything. You're all incredible. And now I'm going to go. <laughs> so you'll see the ghost video. Oh my fucking God. 
honest would be an outtake but I can't be asked because I'm too lazy you'll see the ghost photo at the end of this video <sighs> no more late night filming for me because seriously I literally forget what I'm doing I'm getting old you know I'm nearly 45 crazy isn't it anyway thank you so much for everything you're all incredible and i'll see you all super soon when i've got my fucking head straight i can speak and i know what i'm doing see you later bye sorry okay so i was gonna do a photo but i'm at the bottom of my stairs so i've got to be really quiet because our star is in bed this is actually my ghost thing so this is a big sign that, that cherry made well cherry had to made for me i think I was gifted and this is my ghost house which is absolutely cool show you all of my ghosties they're really cool it's my big collection so i've got lots of different ghosts from different people so this is the one from carrie ann so look see it's hung on the chimney like i said which is really cool and this is from my friend claire hopkins who's one of my oldest school friends one of them this is actually for corey this is a captain corey ghost and you can see it's got a kraken on it and that says Captain Corey there. And that is from one of my friend Jane. Um, I've known her since I was a little girl. She she actually bought that. That's a seedling ghost at the tiny time. That's a tiny one that was gifted to Corey from the ghost merchants. So all of these ones here are York ghost merchants ones. The ones with the streaks on the face they're called phantoms. These are solid phantoms, which are really cool. And they've got some more there as well, which is really, really lovely. I think I won that one. Um, did I win that one in a competition, I think, from the York Ghost Merchants page? There's more of the York Ghost Merchants ones. Every single one is different. No two are the same. Now, these ones are gifted. Then we had three of them gifted, and Ostara had one. I put one in Corey's room, and I kept one. These ones here are Black Star Ceramic Ghosts. So the ones here, look, these ones here, I've got quite a few. They also do potion bottles and all sorts like that that I've got in my living room. I'm also running a competition, so, um, well, a giveaway, should I say, so when my channel reaches 20,000, I've got some potion bottles to actually give away. Oh, look, there's a spider there. Yay, you've got a free spider. This is from um, Anne-Marie, who is one of my friends as well. This is from Cherry, that she gave me the other day. More Black Star Ceramics. This is like a, um, oh my God, what is it called? My Chemical Romance Ghost, basically. So yeah, there's lots and lots of ghosts. And I've got, yeah, so that is my collection so far. I absolutely love them. I think they're brilliant. So yeah, thank you so much. You're an absolute legend.